Hi, welcome to our video. In this video, we'll be fitting two axle locks to a Bailey Cartagena. Um, here's the kit. So uh, this comes with, it's a new, new van uh, from Bailey and it comes with the full kit ready to install. This is the red uh, axle lock itself, or at least one of them. Uh, see the red sticker on there? That's informing you that you should register the lock once fitted. Uh, also in the bag is the wrench for you to do the nut up when you, to tighten the lock onto the axle. Here's a little accessory box. So um, three items there, including the nut, the keys obviously, the nut that goes onto the wheel, the um, that helps you tighten the nut, and then the brass. Locking, locking mechanism with a dust cover there. So there you go. That's the whole kit that you, we need to fit. That times two, because it's to an axle van. Now, Bailey supply this Alco jack, which I didn't realize, and I know you found it, wasn't told about it, and found it in the um, underbed cupboard just before doing this. Uh, so to put on the locks, you need to jack the caravan up, unfortunately. It's not like a single axle you can go back to for. Here's the instructions anyway. Uh, instructions, yes, let's make sure we read the instructions. Are there any pictures? Uh, no, throw them away. Here we go, that's the full kit again. Just in case you missed it first time around. So obviously first thing we need to do is jack the caravan up, which is fairly straightforward. Um, and this is obviously sped up. I didn't do it this quickly. Um, so this jack goes in, uh, there's a, a mount uh, fixed to the chassis uh, for the jack to go into. Now what I didn't appreciate is that to uh, move the wheels you obviously need to remove the handbrake. Our drive's on a, on a slope so I was obviously concerned that if I took the handbrake off it'd roll backwards. <laughs> so um, I put it down again, took off the handbrake and put some paving slabs behind the wheels on the other side so that it wouldn't roll down. Uh, just in case, I've got this bit of wood in case it starts to roll back. Probably my help, you never know. So here's the axle mounted screw hole thing. So the nut goes in this hole. Not easy, it goes in eventually. Turn it a bit, there it goes. Uh, that has to line up with the hole and it goes in like that. Now you can use any gap you want, but you can't use the one with the uh, tyre. Um, valve. So this is the thing that you insert to tighten the nut because it's got a special head on it and then get your wrench. Tighten it up um, pretty much as best you can. I, I don't think it needs to, it's not like a wheel nut, it doesn't, I think in the instruction manager it does mention do it to a certain torque but yeah, tighten it as much as you can I think. As soon as that's done, uh, see the next wheel there, it's got the yellow dust cover which you need to remove. Uh, you should keep this dust cover and replace it every time you take the lock off and don't lose it as I just did. I did find it in the end. So then you've got to move the wheel so that, it's, so that that hole is in the middle of the uh, wheel gap there. If I jack it up enough, there it goes. Get it in the middle, get the other red lock put it on. I think I jumped this bit because you don't want to see it all again. Um, oh, here's me trying to open. Now these are really difficult to open. I don't know why I can't open them, but that's it. Just to show you the kit in there again. It's all the same as the first one obviously. So get that bolt, place it in there, twiddle it about a bit and it goes in and put it on like that. Hey presto. After this, we need to put the uh, brass lock on. Oh, no, here's the jack. So that's the jacking point, just to show you where it goes. Um, if you didn't have that already, you'd have to fit something like a Kojak or something like that. Anyway, so that's the two locks fitted. Um, bring the van down again. There's the little bit that goes into the mounted bracket. Then the brass locking mechanism just pushes in anti-clockwise one turn take the key out and it's in no problem at all then there's this natty little dust cover just to go on obviously prevent dust do the same with the other one and that's pretty much it uh, it's a bit of a shame there's the whole kit 
Um, it's a bit of a shame you need to do it every time you uh, you jack the van up every time you fit it. But thanks for watching. I um, hope that was of use. If you like, then please like it. If you want to subscribe, please do. Thank you.